practicing at 6 or 6.30 in the morning, and we're typically uh, you know, in the afternoon. So uh, that's the only real change that we've made or, or uh, we've implemented these last couple weeks. But other than that, it's just putting the work in and getting ready for uh, you know, October and November. Uh, do you want to talk about the level of competition that we'll be facing this weekend? What do you think of it? Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see what a lot of the other schools will do uh, with this meet. Um, it's the Big Ten preview meet. Um, not all Big Ten schools are going to be there. Um, and, and I don't know if uh, the, the schools that are attending, if they'll run their what would be considered their, their varsity. Um, we have a mixture of guys who will be running. Um, some of our younger guys who are, are looking to, to you know, get into the mix to be on the Big Ten and regional team. And then we have some guys who we feel will be at the Big Ten and regional meet. So, um, you know, it'll be nice to, to see what some of the other uh, universities will do. But at the same time, um, you know, we're, we're more concerned with the, the team that we put out there, how they react to the race. And, and so for some of these guys, it's the first time at the 8,000 meter distance. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be interested to see how, how they race at, at that, you know, that distance. Uh, do you want to talk about the keys to success this weekend? What do we have to do to... Um, do well. You know, I, I, I think for us to, to have a, a good weekend, we have to come away from the meet um, really having a good feel for what the course is going to bring. Um, you know, it, it's, it's going to be the, the same course we're going to see at the Big Ten meet uh, in November, um, and that's really the reason we're going. Uh, we're, we're not running everyone, um, but uh, we're going to have a lot of guys over there who are going to be able to, you know, to get on the course, run it hard, and, and get a sense of what you know, later stages uh, of the race are going to feel like at certain points on the course, and, and that's that's the objective. Um, you know, we, we want to run well, we want to be competitive. Uh, you know, but we're we're not uh, we're not throwing our, our full squad on the line. So uh, the outcome is is more of us being happy with the way we compete and, and what the guys do, um, rather than you know maybe placing our times uh, after after this weekend. And then you were talking about uh, just the people that might be competing this weekend, uh -huh. who, are, who are the big names that we're going to be putting out there? Um, you know, we have uh, running for us, uh, Paul Zeman, who ran for us at the Big Ten meet last year, uh, Will Brewster, who is a, uh, a redshirt freshman. This will be his uh, debut in uh, the Illinois singlet for cross country, um, but he was 10th last year at the U.S. Junior Championships in cross country. He was a junior All-American. Um, Jeremy Atchison is going to be running. He ran for us at the Big Ten in, in regional meet. Um, and then we have some of the younger guys coming out uh, or who are running again uh, at the 8K distance for the first time. Um, John Vaccaro, Ryan Bragoon will be racing. Um, and, and so Luke Carroll will be racing for the first time. We're interested to see how Luke does. Luke's more of a 1,500-meter guy or, or has been in the past, and he's uh, you know putting great work in right now. So we're, we're excited to see how he does at, at this distance. So um, we can get a lot out of the weekend. We can get a, a really good sense of where some of our younger guys are at as we move forward, uh, you know, into the later parts of, of September and early October.